Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to this uh, Live Terra webinar. We will uh, meet finally the winners of the STEM Discovery campaign for the Scientix Live Terra Awards. And uh, before we get started, I really wanted to point out that this STEM Discovery campaign was uh, one of the most successful. We received lots and lots of activities, more than 4,600. Today, having here with us the two winners uh, is uh, really, uh, um, really exciting for us. And we wanted to congratulate it, uh, them for, for their great, uh, for the great achievement because uh, uh, the competition was, <laughs> was quite tough and we had to choose among very uh, numerous, interesting and uh, uh, really relevant entries. So we are happy to be here. So just uh, a little introduction. My name is uh, Joanna. I'm a project officer at uh, European Schoolnet. And uh, today with me, we have uh, Aroa Gregori from Life Terra. She's the project coordinator for the education working group within the Life Terra Foundation. And Simona Genea, the winner of the STEM Discovery campaign, who will be with us and explain uh, the, the incredible activity that she conducted. Not alone, we must say. So she will tell us uh, more about this and uh, what a great collaboration she was able to, to contribute to. So without further ado, let me give the floor to Aroa. Okay, thank you, Joanna. Thank you very much. And thank you everyone for being here. And first of all, well, the first thing I want to say, Simona, congratulations also to Sherife, the other winner. Thank you for being here. Later in the presentation, we will see your amazing project. But first, let us introduce a bit what is Life Terra and we what we have been doing this last year. I have a lot of things I want to share, so I'll try to be as um, concrete as possible. So thanks again and hope you enjoy uh, today's webinar. So first of all, what is Life Terra? Life Terra is a foundation with the mission to restore our connection with the Earth and also to enable people and empower people to take impactful climate action urgently, as we say now, not later, but needs to be now. We facilitate tree planting activities, educate future generation, and that's what we will be discussing here today. And also we develop tree monitoring technology. Okay, but who are we? Let, let, let me share that we are, um, a group of organizations, not only the foundation, um, that we are creating this big movement for climate action in Europe, but we are 16 different organizations and entities um, from eight different countries in Europe, which are led by the foundation, obviously, but we have in-house expertise in education, obviously here with our colleagues, but also in technology, in communications, and of course, in tree planting itself. We support the uh, SDG goals, but we have uh, the focus on those six, including quality education. So um, to date, let me tell you that we are already present in 25 countries in Europe. This number is increasing every day almost. And we are in other countries outside Europe. But since we have a focus on in Europe now, let me uh, share only this part of the project. But we are trying to go beyond Europe. Our philosophy is the right tree in the right place, but also at the right time and for the right purpose. So not just planting for the sake of planting, but there is much more behind it. That's how we achieve um, an effective restoration and a true ecosystem resilience. Okay. And what makes us unique? What is the difference between Life Terra and other maybe tree planting initiatives? As I just said, we plant the right tree in the right place. That means we really study what we are doing and why we do we plant these trees and shrubs. We also educate uh, future generations with our pro educational program that we will see briefly later. And we also monitor the trees we planted. This is really important. We are trying to see not just go and plant a tree and bye bye, we go forever, but the other way around. We try to monitor not only with satellites, but also with applications we are developing to try to 
not only be transparent, which is also important to, to say what we are planting and where and why, but also to keep track and to give value to the plant to the plantings we are doing. Because if you plant and no one else knows ever, maybe you even forget where the trees are, this is not the right approach. We um, believe we need to monitor what we are doing and give this continuity and keep adding and adding more people and more trees. So this is what we will be um, discussing later. And finally, of course, we try to build this community for, a, a, we want to be a climate action movement and to engage local communities, sorry, to impact society at large. So we started in 2020 in the middle of a global pandemic, as you know, but to date, right now we have already more than, well, 6.8 million trees planted already together with our partners. We are not alone. We try to collaborate with as many entities and people as possible. Thanks to all these trees, we have absorbed uh, 132,000 tons of CO2 equivalent, and we have involved uh, more than 101,000 citizens in not only Europe, but also outside Europe, um, in our activities, also online, but especially in person, in our planting activities. Also, many entities and organizations have uh, adopted trees with us and have supported us. This is also what we need to keep our, our activities ongoing and to keep planting more and more. And regarding the education, our package has been used um, by more than 27 thousand classrooms already from, and this is an impressive data for me, 68 countries. So as I said, beyond Europe. Um, also what we are very proud of is these 65 schools that have planted already with us, but with our, our direct presence, just with our tool that we will see later, they managed to organize um, a, an event, a, an activity with their pupils and to tag the trees and upload and upload these trees and their event and their pictures in our in our platform. And this is what makes us really happy to see that people are really, really taking on and planting trees, thanks to Life Terror. So this is just a, a picture, an example of what we do in the end, engage all actors, all stakeholders, companies, NGOs, local NGOs, also small and big ones, schools, teachers, of course, uh, volunteers, students from universities. I mean, we try to engage everyone, even governments. So um, focusing a bit more on our educational program, the main things you would find with Life Terra for your own teaching is first, Terra Mission, which is our educational package. I think Simona can tell you later how she has been using it, but it's um, an education pack uh, free of charge that anyone can use in their teaching. You will see a bit later some details. And also our planting guide for schools, because we received many questions like, okay, we want to plan. Yes, this is exciting. Um, Okay, how do I do it? No, how do I choose the species? How do I, where do I go to plant? Where do I get the trees from? So this is the guide that we where we explain step by step how to organize um, a tree planting um, activity at the school successfully. Okay. So first of all, let's get a bit interactive. May, maybe Joanna, you can help me here. I want to know, guys, um, if you are already teaching about sustainability. Yes, no, I think we have a poll. Yes, please fill out the poll. Okay. I see some yes here, good news. Everyone is teaching already about sustainability. Anyone else wants to vote? It's anonymous, huh? Okay. Thanks for the honesty as well. We get majority of yes, but also some no's. Okay, interesting. So let me introduce here the Life Terra Education Pack. It is called Terra Mission, and it is an educational package. So it's not a course you need to follow from the beginning until the end, but it's a set of resources you can use at your own 
um, pleasure <laughs> for in your class. It contains eight different themes regarding sustainability. We are not talking only about trees, even though we love trees, but we talk about many other aspects which are also important for sustainability, but it includes an introduction session or lesson and a closure session so that you can really wrap up if you go through different topics. It is available in seven different languages. And it is also available in two different learning levels. So of course, it, it would depend on your pupils, but more or less as an indication, it's uh, it's a lower level in between eight and 10 year old and then uh, more complex and advanced package for 11, 14, more or less years old. Um, every theme is independent, but they are in, in interlinked. So one theme would invite you to explore this answer in another theme so that you can really go through it and touch sustainability with a holistic approach. And it is super interactive. It has games, it has videos, exercises, uh, tools uh, of, the, of the platform you can drag and it's really fun to use, not um, not boring. <laughs> and what, what is very interesting for me is that customizable. Custom, I don't know if I pronounce it well. So you can edit it, okay? You can um, add slides, you can delete what is not useful for you. So you can really play around and save your results. And then it includes a guide for teachers and also with the, with the answers of the exercises you propose to your pupils. So this guide is really, really useful. This is what I would use personally if I would need to teach because it tells you step by step, okay, take this slide, say this um, task, uh, explain this thing, you can play around, ask this question. So it really guides you through the materials. And then we want this outdoor learning approach. So every different theme includes suggestions for outdoor activities. It is solutions oriented. So not just focusing on the problem. OK, we have climate change, we have pollution, we have. OK, that's very bad, but it's always taking the approach of, OK, what can we do as a class? We are kids, we are small, we are school, but is there something there that we can do to improve the situation? That's what we are trying to, to explore with Terra Mission. So here, I'm just sharing a few examples so you can see how it looks. These are three of the eight different themes, waste, circular economy, water, we have agriculture, air, um, climate change, etc. If you click on one of those, this is what you will find. At the bottom, you see the different um, functionalities and tools you, you find at the Ginzi platform. This is the platform we use to host our, our package. So you get these um, functions to add media, to change the background, to interact with the student with quizzes, um, to add lessons, as I said before. So it is really easy also and convenient for, for the teachers, not only for the kids. And here again, just for you to see a few examples of interactive exercises that they play around moving and dragging things around. It includes, includes outdoor activities always. And as I mentioned, the teacher guide and the worksheet to make it more um, easy, let's say, to use the package and not to leave you alone with a bunch of contents and, and that's it. So that's uh, all for Terra Mission for now. My second question here would be, have you ever planted a tree yourself or even better with your pupils? Please, I want to see some answers. I see people are joining from Albania, from Greece, Romania, Portugal, nice. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and get, we are getting yes, yes, yes. Oh, you are experts, so <laughs> planting trees. I cannot teach you anything. That's wonderful. Perfect. Everyone has planted a tree. Perfect. Now we can, <laughs> we are in peace already. Wonderful. Okay, now um, maybe I, we can skip the video, Johanna, or we, we play it. What about time? I know I talk a lot. We still have a little bit of time if uh, this is one of the last slides. Um, let, let, let's, let's keep let's it for keep, later. Exactly. That's the mm. point. 
I'm, I'm just uh, sharing a video here, maybe later, hopefully, if we have time, because I prefer Simona to speak as a teacher, but just for you to know that we have here another teacher in this video explaining the experience when they went to plant trees with their pupils and how amazing the experience was for them, but let's keep it for, for later. So, last question from my, on my behalf, have you planted a tree I mean trees and have you tagged them already using the life terra tool maybe you are also experts here and i shut up sharing the we are sharing the third poll so please fill out the poll if you have already uh used the the life terra tool to tag trees or maybe you are wondering what is tagging trees <laughs> like i know I know to tag in social media, but not trees. Okay, now there is a majority of no's as expected, of course. Okay, also some yes, interesting. Okay, thank you for your uh, answers. Let's go to the second um, material we have. Apart from the Terra mission, which is the educational package, as I mentioned before, we created also the school planting guide to help you to implement, not only stay in the theory, but really go and plant trees together. So this is what the guide includes. Unfortunately, we, we cannot now go through the whole guide because we, we will need another extra hour and it's not the case. But in this guide, what, what we explain and we what we try to share is how to organize the whole thing. First thing, uh, you need to find a location. Okay, I want to plan, but where? First thing, how to find this perfect place. Second option, I mean, second point of the guide, how to select the species. This is a question we receive a lot, like, okay, we don't know what to plant. So this is also, um, um, we, we provide, let's say, some tips on how to make the best selection and even involve your students, your pupils, in the selection and of the of the species to be planted. And that's also how you discover the, the na nature and the natural environment around you, not only by planting, but there is there are more things beyond the fact of planting. Uh, we also share some ideas to do exercises so that we can really um, share uh, the experience, I mean, to the fullest, and we can make it really meaningful for, for pupils especially. And of course, we also include there how to plant trees correctly, because sometimes this is not as easy as it could um, be in the, in, in the first place, but it's important to plant a tree correctly because otherwise he will not make it. So we train there in the guide. And the final point is how to tag the trees because, okay, as we said in the beginning, we don't want to plant and go forever, but we want to give this continuity and tag them and take a picture of them, upload the picture and they are tracked somehow there. And also they are in our phone or in our tablets at school. So they are, we, we increase our connection with those trees that we have planted. These are just some examples and what I wanted to share with you of the, of the planting activities that some teachers have already uploaded to our platform. So they share the pictures, their, their story, and also the species they have planted there small in small um, pictures around it and how many people participated. We love to, to, to see their stories. We also include information about the plot so we can see where those trees are and how much carbon they have absorbed. And I go quickly already. This is the tagging platform. So you see, you, you can get access to the whole thing. So you see there the 6.8 million of trees I was mentioning before across Europe, but also you have your own personalized uh, dashboard. This is mine. In my case, I went to those places and planted trees there. As you see, there is one, when you zoom in, you get to the individual trees. And if you click in there, as you see here, you can really get the details of these trees. This is the picture. These are the pictures I took myself. One of them with the tree protector, that's fine. And one of them with another. In these cases, they were really tiny trees, but it really depends on, on every country and on every situation. But it says there, it's planted by myself. This is the species, Aquaricus Virginia, not another one. It's this one. Uh, the date, the event. So you click in the event, you can see the whole thing we made that day with the pictures and so on, latitude, longitude, and, and the picture. 
and that's it from my end finally <laughs> um i'm open to receive some questions if you have any here i've shared them the qrs with the links to access to terra mission and also to the tree planting guide for schools of course you can access to these materials also in the life terra website lifeterra.eu um but you can ask me anything now if there are questions I guess, Joanna, you will share them with you if, if, thanks so much for the feedback. I know we have here some I see hearts and you. clapping, so. <laughs> Alors, since your, your presentation was, was quite clear, over here you will find the QR codes both to the Terra Mission pack and to the planting. And I see great presentation. Thank you. I, All I, seems I, to be great. I would have added, uh, I should have added a poll. Will you use the Terra mission and the planting guide after, after this uh, <laughs> incredible presentation? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Joanna. Okay. Okay. So since we are already, um, up with time i would pass the floor to our next speaker and um i think i see you freezed i see simona freezed simona are you still with us yes i am here okay okay great so i will give the floor to simona guinea from uh, elena cusa national college in romania to explain to us uh, about the, the amazing project that uh, she conducted. Hello, everyone. Thank you for um, your um, wishes. I am happy to be here. Thank you so much for this opportunity. And uh, if uh, everything is ready, I can start when you say, Joanna. Yes. Thank Go you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, Today, uh, we want to uh, explore nature, and I invite you in uh, the next minute to discover our project, um, uh, who was designed to encourage students to explore and learn directly from nature. By combining traditional classroom experiences with dynamic outdoor adventure, we aim to spark curiosity, creativity, and a deep appreciation for the environment. The main objective was to cultivate uh, a deep understanding and respect for nature through engaging hands-on activities that align perfectly with the Terra Mission Gene Z educational framework already Aroas presented. And I was uh, happy to discover some uh, aspects from uh, my work too. This framework emphasizes the experiential learning and provided the perfect foundation for our innovative uh, approach. Uh, in um, our vision was uh, our vision was to create a learning um, environment where students could utilize their natural surrounding as a dynamic lab, huge lab, transforming into young explorers and scientists. And our mission uh, was to inspire a new generation of uh, eco guardians. Uh, why not? Because uh, we hope to be individuals who are passionate about environmental conservation and take proactive steps to protect our uh, planet. Uh, learning to nature was our um, uh, idea uh, to start through these innovative outdoor activities. Students learn to see the world through the lens uh, of an ecologist, artist and scientist, understanding the complex connections within ecosystem and the critical role they play in preservation of our planet. And uh, with all our these activities and real problem solving projects, we hope to transform them in protectors of our Earth. Objectives, uh, I want to, um, I selected only three because um, uh, there are more important, engage students in real world environmental challenge and creative projects, uh, instill a deep appreciation and respect for nature, like I say in students, encourage them to become proactive protectors uh, of the earth in, and um, we want to boost in our uh, students' uh, knowledge the some concept, ecology, ecological concepts through lens on outdoor activities uh, to be like complementary for traditional um, hours. 
but this slide presents some statistics. Don't afraid uh, to, don't say it's too much, five countries and so much participants, because after that we involve more than uh, uh, that period from February to May. Uh, after that, we concluded in more. Um, and um, I was happy to discover between uh, participants uh, one of my uh, project partner from a new twinning project, Amalia, hello, <laughs> connected uh, in Terra Mission Educational Pack. Like I said, we uh, our project fits perfectly with Genesis Terra Mission. And why? Because um, we know the Genesis uh, Pack was designed for kids age from 8 to 10 and uh, 11 to uh, uh, 18. But, but Terra Mission has an introductory lessons, IT team lessons, and uh, we found um, uh, the goal for us, it fits with us. Um, and the goal of all of team is to teach environmental responsibility through flexible and engaging tools. And for example, I created connection with Genzi for example, biodiversity team, our observation of local flora, for example, and for a parallel Terra missions lesson, and biodiversity helping students to appreciate and understand the complexity of ecosystems. Uh, when uh, it's about uh, when we talk about sustainability, uh, our recycling and art activities you will discover in my presentation in the future align with lesson and sustainability uh, from the pack. Uh, and water cycle team, I was discover a uh, huge resources, for example, um, and our cycle study correspond with their emissions lesson and natural pro pro processes, helping students understand the significance. Uh, I must. Um, uh, say one reason I suggest the Terra Mission Pack is that it's flexible enough to use uh, in the lesson that fit your needs and that you can integrate into your curriculum. It is designed to foster students' engagement. And I was happy because, for example, I focused on biodiversity and how I encourage students to observe and explore to combine activities. But, but I was inspired by the pack. I didn't use all the resources. I only selected the resources would fit with my curriculum. For that reason, I recommend that. And uh, you can see the key points of the project. For example, uh, of course, we uh, um, we made more, but uh, uh, today I will present only four uh, with activity. And the basic idea was that Earth need us. First of all, we initiated uh, in our school, in my school, uh, Elena Kuza National College in Craiova, um impact for events um for example um we uh, launched a call using genially uh, for action uh, for several groups in my school, challenging them to make a pledge to protect our earth. The response was overwhelming with participants engaging in activities such planting various plants, creating posters and drawing. And uh, of course, you don't expect, but of course, they presented eco-friendly outfits and uh, even showcasing recycled goods. This successful project was not be possible uh, without the passion and the very support of my colleagues and I say big thank you and um, we talk about sustainability and view documentaries environmental factors of course Gen Z videos were also good but we also used many resources because we were in fourth grade and we are great uh, to researchers I must admit uh, I train my students to um see the movie and by watching films for example about recycling and learning about selective recycling students gain a clear understanding of environment responsibility why we must select um uh, our garbage for example not only to do to understand a deep understand of that um you can discover in this slide some um, um art and uh, combining the elements from my students. Uh, they love to use and combine, uh, for example, creating uh, eco-friendly costume on projects or projects from reusable materials. And uh, this practical approach not only reinforces the understanding of recycling, but also encourage creativity and innovation. Um, and uh, the school students were challenged to show costume, not only my classroom, uh, all 
uh, school uh, to show uh, the costume created specially for the parade. They showed how certain materials were recycled and how some objects were created and was a was a school-wide students participation. I was happy to uh, see my colleagues. Um, they boost uh, interest for the students and they develop a deeper appreciation for sustainable practices and um, more likely to promote and implement these practices in daily daily lives. Uh, you can see enthusiasm, of course, uh, while working on the science land, yeah, little guardians, it winning project because uh, I am in a tuning ambassador too. I came up with the idea of making the project bigger than one my school. Why to not cross the borders and adding tasks that were related to the original plan? I must admit, in the past, I um, challenged my uh, uh, my friends from the countries, from one other countries, to prepare for um, join me in another project. For that, me it was easy to ask them if they want to uh, involve, for example, to protecting water. And uh, we are preparing. Um, uh, challenge water and protection the ocean emerge favorite theme for the children sparking their creativity and enthusiasm and GZ has a pack about protecting ocean I like it so much but I was I was inspired uh, with my students but, and we um, uh, I can say about uh, key activities for example creating lab books posters videos and um, uh, about pedagogical value creating lab books, maybe in your mind, why it uh, has pedagogical value this? Because required students to research information about water conservation and ocean protection and, uh, in, um, and uh, boost their research and, and literacy skills. And uh, of course, art and designing and uh, communication because it's an art to present your work. And um, celebrating Water Day in, um, was a great event for my students because I uh, challenged them to imagine a world without plastics. It was a short movie created and uh, they was en engaged to uh, ask her in the brainstorming and this event encouraged community involvement, teaching students the importance of collective action in addressing environmental challenge and to manage a project. And, uh, we made more. We invite other schools to celebrate Water Day with us. Why? Because we want to experience our students' cultural exchange and guide a global perspective to conserving water. And you can see that uh, Water Day and collaborative Padlet. And uh, uh, Amalia is there. She can say to me, it's uh, our work in the project. And we invite more countries to join, to celebrate together. And uh, our activities was um, were to prepare experiments with water. And we made more, not only prepare experiments, to prepare sheets, worksheets. Uh, my students like it to prepare um, uh, lab books and posters, but more making more in this project during an online meeting with our project partners. We presented the water experiment carried on by my children and other children from the project. These experiments helped students discover many physics and chemistry concepts more easy than you thought. And why? Because all these activities in this activities students embark on real life projects and we must give them this opportunity to involve them and put them to work and to put um, some for example um, students were empowered to think critically to make hypotheses to conduct tests and to analyze results and uh, to present the experiment they want because they understand and um, Reaching out to other schools because we speak about that. I'm in my students prepare some more. Uh, I put my students to prepare and research in a Padlet experiments and explain the 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 phenomenon not only to uh, show in pair, working in peers or working alone, but explain why and the concept. And after that, we translate and put um, on um, uh, to other partners to see. And we want to prepare and working on a guide for other school. Uh, reaching out, um, uh, of, we, we spoke about our schools and uh, why to not propose 
outdoor activities to other schools. And we go further, we, we propose to make a scavenger hunt in the nature, um, to make uh, mandalas, to prepare with uh, um, combining mathematical skills, uh, scientific and uh, coordinated, and um, of course, experiment in the nature. And you can find here scavenger hunt in the nature, some aspects for working in that. And um, um, I put that like an example, but it was not mandatory to use that worksheet. The scavenger hunt was based on the worksheet to five, uh, my five senses scavenger hunt, discovering the in the nature um, uh, some green, some um, uh, uh, science from the, um, they study on the school and uh, make more GPS navigation and scavenger hunt where uh, during the scavenger hunt uh, students use satellite navigation for orientation in nature, uh, nature learning how to use GPS technology because they uh, received clues to orientate and I must admit I learned that in the ESA uh, webinar I was in uh, there in the ESA uh, workshop and I learned to navigate using GPS and satellite and um, for these my students gain a better understanding of spatial relationship and all students uh, uh, boost their ability to interpret and use maps. Um, pedagogical value I must say in a scavenger hunt to play of course it's the game, it's the playing is the best way to teach our students. But more than that, um, this activity allows students to directly explore and interact with nature in a way that traditional classroom maybe sitting cannot replicate. And um, the scavenger hunt was designed to foster the, um, the uh, skills to observe it, and they made more. Uh, they connect each other and make um, promotion not only to knowledge, but also physical health in nature. We want our students to be healthy, you know. Mandalas was a great activity for uh, our students. And um, if uh, we see from artistic expression view, uh, they like it so much to select materials and from natural elements, elements to combine and they uh, succeeded to express their creativity and appreciate the beauty of the nature and um, of course uh, the activity encourage mindfulness and concentration and help to be focused on the school um, you can discover here my beautiful my great activity for my um, colleagues for example students become more aware of the variety of value of the local surrounding Maybe they were not uh, conscious about the what they, the environment could uh, hide, but with this activity, they were um, happy to discover. The life cycle of plants was another activity and were not was only planting, was not only planting, we connected with climate change and how it affects plants. Uh, we, as you can see in the some image, we use tools, digital tools, quiver, but uh, to use digital uh, connected with our activities, but also worksheets like um, this observation and how to protect our nature. Another activity, great activity for my students and other my colleague students was reducing carbon footprint activity. In this activity, for our students focused on understanding and reducing their carbon footprint. And I must say something uh, hilarious now, but our students made in the school this activity, but in the, in the home, the parents call me and say me, we calculate in the home the reduce because it was in online tools also, not only that that uh, worksheet. The activity was um, included calculating uh, um, integrated concepts from science, mathematics, and social study, providing a holistic learning experience. And um, we we know we hoped uh, to different uh, hope to uh, connect different fields uh, in addressing environmental issues. Um, feedback. The project success was not just a matter of meeting is the goal, but also of the effectiveness of its methods. Students, teachers and partners will provide positive feedback. Um, they said about the project was good, but the they, they must think 
twice when they make an action because every action is like a butterfly effect in the future uh, has an has an effect this feedback serve as proof of uh, the um, project's potential indicate a solid base for future environmental education and hands-on learning programs and the uh, benefits because of course we made uh, we implemented the project why and what with which results students demonstrated a significant improvement in their understanding of in concept and about ecological uh, team, including the importance of recycling, the water cycle, and sustainable practices. The projects expanded beyond the initial school, involving multiple partner schools from different countries. That was the great, for me, um, point to reach. And by expanding the project to include schools from other countries, students gain valuable insights to in different, to, into different cultures and global perspectives on the same similar theme environmental conservation and um, of course we promote uh, promoted the sense of global citizenship and community and uh, the best uh, comment is was from one of my students uh, Irina she tells them not to change the picture of Terra into a picture from the memory box um, now is the time to act she said to me uh, if we think about that think at the, our earth uh, um, like this not to be a picture um, product we work it in a, a guide for uh, explorers uh, water explorers uh, guide to scientists uh, signed lendy as little guardians and the padlet with all activities and in conclusion our exploring nature initiative was improved uh, has improved our people our students knowledge and increase the respect for nature and with this um, impact for our environment this project show how experiential learning may be used to achieve educational goals we are grateful for um, the terra mission award and look forward to promoting environmental education and dear partners thank you for supporting our project uh, your help made this project successful successful thank you for attention i'm happy to answer any questions you may have and uh, i hope you wanna i respected the time thank you so much simona i could not stop you because it was just uh it was just too interesting to to listen to you so <laughs> do not worry about the time because uh i think we all agree that this this project was really outstanding you were able not only to tackle you know the environmental issues on 360 degrees we talked about water natural conservation waste management it's just quite few of what we, we heard, but but you did it by doing practical activities, involving the children, bringing them out of the classroom, which is uh, exactly what we what we try to promote with Life Terra, to have this really hands-on approach. So it, uh, it was really a pleasure to listen to you. And and I really, I really wanted to congratulate you because your project uh, was so outstanding because uh, you started from a classroom and then you expanded to the school and then you said, okay, let's go beyond the borders of the school. Parents were involved for the children and then you were not, uh, it was not enough. You, you also had to reach out beyond the borders of your country. So it was really, really, really outstanding and we are very happy to, to have been able to hear about it all, right? now so thank you for being here again thank and thank you, so you to much. all the teachers who also who also participated uh, in this initiative so going forward um, unfortunately because of uh, some personal issues the second winner of the campaign could not uh, be present but you can find uh, her picture here in uh, in this light so we also congratulate a lot uh, Serife Takmas from Konya Eregli Science and Arts Center in Turkey. She won uh, the Terra Mission Award for having organized uh, a quite impressive uh, planting activity. So I will walk you very fastly, briefly through what she did in her project. Basically, because the school's garden uh, in her school was very small, she decided to organize this planting uh, activity on public land. So Serife reached out to the mayor 
of the city in which the school is located. And uh, this mayor was so enthusiastic about the idea that he really offered to provide all the tools and the support necessary to organize uh, this planting activity, which is also what we usually uh, try to invite teachers who want to create this event to do, to, to have the support of the mayor and of a local university. So basically what happened was that the mayor does, did not just provide the, the transportation to the field and the, all the tools to dig and to lay the drip system, but he also connected the school with the agricultural engineers that helped choose the, the proper tree for the land in which this, uh, this planting activity happened. So again, here we really like the connection between uh, Life Terra's motto, planting the right tree in the right place and, uh, and the activity that Serifa uh, was able to implement. And on the day of the planting activity, which was also held in a symbolic moment during the World Forest uh, Week in uh, March, um, the students who reached the place did not just uh, start planting randomly, but uh, they were invited to make some reflections uh, uh, on the topics of climate change, of the effects of climate change on the land and on nature in general, and how planting can help mitigate these, these effects. So the students had this, um, let's say, pedagogical activity, and then they were taught by the volunteers uh, present over there how to plant the pines. Now, what's also really interesting is that this planting activity was not just uh, uh, an individualistic activity. The parents were involved into the activity. So again, we have this community dimension that's really, really important to us that help us reach as many people as possible. And the students were also paired in groups of two or three people so that the planting activity would hold the pedagogical additional value of uh, uh, promoting, uh, you know, team um, team building between uh, between the students. And after the, the planting happened, again, students were invited to think about what type of trees were planted, why they had to choose certain types uh, with respect to certain others. So again, there was this, uh, this big um, Mm, attention to, to making it meaningful along each step. And finally, at the end of the activity, um, if Sarifa were there, she would have put yes to the question, uh, have you tagged your tree? Because uh, at the end of the activity, they, she and her students tagged the trees and put them on the, on the life that, um, application, as you can see here, she provides us with uh, with some uh, some screenshot. So this was it very brief briefly. We congratulate again uh, Serifa uh, for um, for her great uh, activity. And now it's time for a Q&A, uh, especially to, to Simona. And uh, if there is uh, any question regarding the planting activities, uh, I, I'm sure that Aroa can also can also jump in. I am here. <laughs> Thank okay. you for all comments. Thank you so much. I was, uh, I am grateful. <laughs> We are grateful for uh, for you having uh, having done all of this, uh, Simona. We are sorry, but we cannot see you. We haven't been able to see you for a little bit, but I didn't want to interrupt you. I think it may be a connection issue. So, any anybody has any question? In the meantime, maybe um, I can say again, congratulations, Simona. And thanks for sharing all your experiences and the, the, your whole project. I had the opportunity to to see before just part of it, but now I can say I'm impressed. <laughs> um, Thank you. Of the size and the dimension, as as Joanna said, not only in your school and the families of your pupils, but beyond your country. So this is the real example. I in, love the yes. holistic Thank approach. You. To Yes, in our uh, country, we have uh, initiative uh, Green Week. And uh, for this um, uh, period, we prepare some activities and why to not inspire other teachers to uh, make a Terra Life uh, activity for the, the future in Green Week. <laughs> Definitely. Be sure. Yeah, that's I a great opportunity. 
that's a great opportunity. We have a question in the chat. I'm super sorry for not being able to read the name of who is asking it. Um, how much time did it take you to plan all the activities? And how much time do you have? How much time do you have to plan all, uh, all of the activities? Before, uh, we start from February to May. But before that, uh, I must admit, uh, I was. Uh, uh, it was a small idea in a classroom for some idea for my curriculum uh, in, in, to implement in my classroom and uh, some hours. After that, I must admit, uh, some hours in one week I prepare and after was normally to propose to other teachers from the project from me twinning to say yes uh, was uh, one question in one day to my colleagues from my school do you want to join me in that they say yes because they have great colleagues and not all but some of them and uh, i was happy and i i must admit i, I must confess this project was uh, won uh, this prize but i was wasn't expected <laughs> work we put so much work but uh, never thinking about the the award and uh, uh, you can do starting small after you can invite more uh, friends and i am i'm i feel myself lucky because i have uh, in uh, other and so many countries so great uh, friends and margarita say in the past uh, we work in uh, great activities or through on the um, same idea to uh, ecological concept and to promote uh, um, uh, activities for uh, saving terra and uh, i'm i'm i feel myself uh, like i said lucky because uh, i proposed and they join and that is the pleasure. If I reach my goal, it's great pleasure. Thank you very much, Simona. So you start small and then uh, you gather enthusiasm from the people around you. And that's what uh, fueled this project in the end, having yes, so many. We have another question. Um, I want to know uh, if Erviola wants to know if you have collaborated with local farmers or policy makers of your local country for these in initiatives. Um. Uh, Erviola, I know Erviola, hello, um, from the internet. Um, uh, she has, uh, he, she always great, made activities uh, in the past, I know. Um, I must admit, in my classroom, uh, I, I had a parent. Um, she has a farm, <laughs> is a mother, she has a farm. And um, uh, I was, uh, I benefit from that. And I had, uh, for example, we made an activity with uh, uh, bee uh, keepers and was their uh, help. Uh, I must be uh, grateful for that. Uh, of course, uh, in the future, maybe in the another version of the project, we can uh, contact more um, um, authorities. But uh, for the moment, was what uh, we need. Parents must be involved. <laughs> Okay, so the the other the other way of reaching, uh, let's say, external actors is starting from the parents. Um, that's a very yeah. good takeaway. Okay, so th there is a last uh, comment. Uh, the exercise of working in teams uh, with uh, e twinning scientists communities yes. uh, must have helped uh, in the end. Always. Okay. So um, I wanted to close up. Aroa, do you want to to talk about this uh, survey? This is um, one last favor yes. we have to ask you before saying yes, thank you for being here. Thank you, Joanna. Just a last favor. We collaborate with the University of Barcelona to compile information to study the behavior change according to the knowledge in sustainability topics. So it will be super brief and you will really help us to gather data this is for teachers both who have used terra mission and both uh, for teachers who have not used it so that's fine we are just researching because as i said we are a, a bunch of organizations working in the same direction um maybe just to say that thank you uh, everyone for being here and thank you simona again for sharing your inspiring story and also to sherife who is not here unfortunately but she did what 
we are very proud also of her work because that's exactly what we invite all the teachers to do. Like ask the mayor, ask the farmers, ask the parents, talk to the people and create a, a, a local initiative in engaging the community and of course the, the, the pupils. So thanks very much. Um, we are just... Uh, Last thing, we are preparing a big thing for November to try to gather and make a big movement of planting trees across Europe and beyond, as you know. So um, follow us on social media. We, we will post all the information there. We have also a newsletter you can join to, to know about the last news of Life Terra, and you are most, more than invited to join our community for climate action. So thank you very much for being here, and thank you, Joanna and Miriam, for hosting us.